Eh, what today we brought up because say the new life of Christ, the new life of Christ. Yes, Christo. Now, brother, I'm going to follow. Yeah, the etias here no. And so the apostle Paul states in First Timothy chapter five, verse six. The whole thing is Paul. Okay, the Timothy we made the kaiti num chimu siano. But she that lives in pleasure is dead. So we be out there as if we now bought our brano. We are tears here. We live it. We brano tears. We are tears here. We. When you live in pleasure. So what you are now about you bra? You are dead. Oh yeah, ufo. Because ready pleasure is again the true life. If you say we are seeing the idea, no, it is not going to be able to do Ready pleasure can't coexist with the true life. We are seeing the fact that any of you are there, no, it is not going to be able to do it. And so one should take delight in ready lust and pleasures. The bra, when you we are seeing the man who no, you forfeit the true life. Now I'm going to be able to do it. You lose the true life. You are not going to be able to do it. And so you are. And now this meeting we have life. Before we leave this meeting, you know exactly how to treat the life of Christ. There's a popular saying that those who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Yeah, because we will be here. Because so what we have done more in the trouble. Our status determines the life. We should leave. So they are TV at here. No, and they say, "Abra, but what's here? The trans here." If you are the president of Ghana, there are certain places you shouldn't go. So you are Ghana man, Peni, I will be doing what any so go. If you if you want to go, you know that your office and the position will allow you to go. If I be a car person, I will cross cross. No, I also want to say, "What you man are you?" No, a man who can say so go cross cross. Be a no. People think that when we keep God's commandments, we keep it because we want to show that we are somebody. Or we are trying to end salvation. Or we are trying to prove a point. That we are righteous than they. That is not the, the point. That's not the key. We keep God's coming because of what we have become. And so we are trying to prove a point. That we are righteous than they. That is not the key. As I gave the presidential example. As soon as you assume that office, there are certain privileges that are yours. Your lifestyle changes. Christ has done something in our lives. Yes, we have people who are brave, and so our lives must change. Unless we tell Christ that we don't want your life. If we don't want your life, then we can live anyhow. But we are not. On our own, now see any of you, and it is a glorious life. We are with them, Abrabo. It is a wonderful life. Hey, Abrabo, hey, Wangwa. It is a miracle life. Abrabo, hey, Wangwa. So we are going to study the various aspects of the life of Christ. And the Bible says, "Yes, Abrabo, no, no, Krabata, how do you know?" And so, when you decide to live in pleasure, and on the say yes, say yes, now say now, you are Abrabo, no, say the people will be brave more. The carnal life of pleasure. It's not compatible with the life from heaven. So you can't live the two lives. I just say. Amen. And so let us go to Ephesians chapter three verse one. Amen. So let us go to Ephesians chapter three verse one. Amen. So let us go to Ephesians chapter three verse one. Christ won the church in Sardis. Christ won the church in Sardis. And unto the end of the church in Sardis, right? So let us go to Ephesians chapter three verse one. Amen. So let us go to Ephesians chapter three verse one. Amen. So let us go to Ephesians chapter Has the seven spirits of God. And the seven stars. And the seven stars. I know that Rex. That thou hast a name. 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 Thou People die and go to their funeral. Not knowing you are you are yourself at that ah, time. But he said something. But that's very crucial. I can't say be here here. Significant. I assume. I know that works. I see minimum. And so the works you do. Minimum. And so the works you do. I know that works. I see minimum. And so the works you do. 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 Minimum. And so the works you That are works of life. Ah, ye a numa a ye unquadi ye. That are works of eternal life. Ah, ye a numa a mada unqua. That are works of the life of Christ. Ah, ye a numa a ye Jesus Christ. Why should do those works? Ah, so yes, I am a man. You have life. Now we have it more abundantly. Now we have it more abundantly. 
Have you read the scripture? Okay. You have this same team in San Chimo Ebakono. Nasadi as of Mubofono, Shrekomano say, Senna the Owen and Cooper Honson, and then Sumal Sono say, Minimumuma, so would the insultia say, Nelson Owu. Hallelujah. Man. And so Christ holds his hand, the seventh spirit of God. Yes, Kusu, Ukrainian Cooper, and our home son on his The number seven is a number of perfection. The castle number and so a number be a haunty number of completeness. A number just say be a we pay him. And so the totality of God's power is in the hands of Christ. Hallelujah. The castle and your couple to me, yes, yes, Kusu, sir. He got the whole word in his hand. Oh, he got the whole word in his hand. Oh, he got the whole world in his hands. Oh, he got the whole world in his hands. Yeah. Oh, he got the whole world in his hands. Yeah, he got the whole world in his hands. Oh, he got the whole world in his hands. Oh, he got the whole world in his hands. Oh, no, we are Oh, no, we are Oh, no, we are Oh, no, we Oh, no, we are Hallelujah. Man. This all powerful being called Christ is our life giver. Saya Kusuya. And so, as we progress in the studies, you know, we, we shall realize and know that when this life, which is all powerful, comes into your life, he must also be powerful. And to break us, you know, it was as a sabra boy by young Kumwa, or see or see any pa to me away and say, He must be supernatural, be or see any person, Kokra. That's part of the life of Christ. And no need so and can say this. You can't take it away from Christ. Want to many free years in China. And so those that is who teach that that uh, the age of the baptism of the Holy Spirit is in the past, they are living the fool's paradise. And they are so far on what they say. They don't know even what they are saying. They don't know the, the, the life of Christ at all. And so for millions of people without Christ. And they bump in Pimwa, Omen Yes Christo. They are dead people. Whether they know or they know, no, 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 no. they are zombies. Do you know zombies? Who name zombie? People who are dead, but in the night you see them walking about. They are in the state of living dead. But for those of us who believe, hallelujah! Christ died with us and rose up yes, again. He died not because he sinned. Well, say be a yes way here, Bonintia. With the witness of sin is death. But the actual and so some someone will say, Did Christ die? And you will send yes because of sin. Bonin to we are now. He didn't sin. Why not bonnet? He was sinless, he was at the form. Not bonny be an Hebrew for my teen nine chimu do no. But he died because of us. Name we and I'm yen tea. Not to bear the consequence of our sin. Sebe ya, yes, to bear the consequences of our, our sins. So that we might live together with him in glory. Hallelujah. That's why he was called Jesus. And not your friend Jesus. The, 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 the true Hebrew word or name Hebrew is Yahshua. Yahshua. The salvation of Yahweh. So he will save his people from the so ashes. Hallelujah. Man. And what is sin? Sin is the transgression of God's law. And so Christ didn't come to establish disobedience. And Jesus through faith we overthrow sin. We overthrow disobedience. So that we might establish the law through faith. Because Christ came in order to save us from sin. Not just sin. But the consequences of sin. And death. So before man sinned. Man had the original divine life. From his creator. Scholars estimate, biblical scholars estimate that after Adam and Eve were created, they lived in the Garden of Eden 
for seven years. Impurity. By the way, and in the fourth, I say, if you bring a cup on board, Adam, a cup and bra, or my air bonino, or much tried in turn with infusion, so ya or more anya bonny, if you be any more. For seven years, we are pure. If you answer or not, for so be any more. They were obedient. To God. Now we sit him in your cup. So from four thousand and four BC two. And the three a few team nine and nine and son yeah we use three thousand and ninety nine three thousand nine hundred and ninety seven BC. Or much less in Fium Pimsa a ham crow at your crown so and son a crystal bas as his own. They were pure. No me in the pacron. They had a Christ life. No my property say yes. Because who was the father of Adam? If you say why and why Adam Leja? Look at the three verse thirty eight says. Look at the part two verse thirty one. God was the father of Adam. O si nyanku po ye ono ni eja. Adam Leja. Adam was created after the image and likeness of God. Aye, but Adam was created after nyanku po suba ane zaso. Who has eternal life? Ah, what Adam? Adam is both of them. Adam ni ifu ni umiyo ni na. They possess the life of God. Now mu nyanku po abrabo. The true life. Abrabo kron kron no. Before they sin. And sin no umbe ye bone no. But they are down for. Ne umma we are seeing no. Was their decision. To live this holy life. Now you are more and more doing your own fire. Say, and this eternal life. And come from here, and die, brother. No. Anywhere they want it. On bed, bed, transfer your own baby. That was the mistake. And only for so. And this is the mistake you shouldn't make today. And only for so. No, forever. Hallelujah. So that the light that has come to you shall be preserved forever and ever. Yeah. And quite about on channel to my heart so that the day now. Another thing was that the life Adam and Eve originally possessed, the original half, wasn't their own. Are they back on some say? It was from God. Their creator. Their life giver. And so to continue to have that life. They ought to have obeyed the instructions of their life giver. If you are not a very keen manufacturer. You, you only have the purchasing power. And the manufacturer says that this is a diesel car. And now the only one can carry the car. We have the diesel in the gumu. But you claim that the car is yours. Now can the car be our DNT? I will put water. Where I'm supposed to put it? Where I'm supposed to put it? Where I'm supposed to put water? I will put petrol. Now where I'm supposed to put it? Where I'm supposed to put petrol? Move the car. Hallelujah. Where is that you took it away? This was a mistake. Adam and Eve made. Hallelujah. From so Adam and Eve. The life wasn't their own. Now I'm calling your mother. It's not from above. If you're so not by, it's not from above. If you're so not by. The of their life giver. The one who bore one more 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 one what are these instructions? When a dear is answered, why you cannot? In simple terms, they are the commandments of God. The commandments of God are the divine instructions on how to live the life of Christ. The life of Christ on loan to us. Oh, it's not ours. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so it shows this is my life. This is how you must. Handle this life. This life, his fornication. This life, his adultery. 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 They, won't, they, they don't want to keep God's law. But at the same time, they want to preserve that life. That will never happen. Hallelujah. And so, prayer chapter 19, verse 16. We are told pointedly. Now, you can see that the Lord is the one who keeps the commandments. Keeps his own soul. Wasi obi a udi nyanku pa wa se dieso no wa unqua wa ukra ena ukra no. But he that despises his way shall die. No di pa wa ge wa kwe ye no ubu. I want to ask a question. Mister Musa Asemba ko. He that keeps the commandments keeps his own soul. Wasi oni pa udi nyanku pa wa se dieso no ukra wa ukra. But he that despises his ways, that disobeys God's commandments, shall die. Na oni pa wa wa kwe ye ne di e obese asus brachete nyanku pa mbalu ubu. 
With understanding you have gained from this lesson. And just say every side show we mono. By what means? Does the deaf talk about okay? A crabbers na say we are can want see me a bebo. Do you sin against your own self or you sin against a life you couldn't attain by your own power? Sebasa we are bonia. Wa na yeti ya huwa na ase ya mkwebi ya na nkenye wa odi ya na usaka ya But what means do you die? E kwa besu na afasu uo Who can answer for me? Wa de witu me yano When you keep God's commandments So di nyako pa sede soa I've already explained everything to you Medika ache eche bibi ebu achire mo The commandments are kept because of something Se udi ya sede nso na bibi inti Something beyond us Bibi ya kaya inti minye But if you don't keep God's commandments that something won't come to us. Let's learn in Yakuba said the source. I didn't hear can or intimate mouth. And that something is something which has life. Now, I didn't know any idea what. Hallelujah. Amen. So, who can answer? One of it may be a simple. Titia Pa. It went this way. Hallelujah. Amen. The life goes away. Man. Did you understand? Quanba Baumu, a bra, would you have said as well? So, they are. As I'm quite no intimate. And when the life goes away, what happens? Listen, quite a few mukwa. You die. Hallelujah. Oh man. And so we keep God's commandments in order to preserve the life Christ has given to us. That's all. He didn't yaku pan shedon sebe ya and quite Christ so diama ebe bohun ba inwa ano no. And so Christ has won us. The Christ so aboye koko. That He has given us new life. Do I say wa ma yaku pan fro? This life is from Him. I free onu yaku pan. It's a holy life. I am quite a crum crum. And so the one is in Romans chapter eight verse thirteen. And unto koko adi ba in Romans from my thing ochi chimu dumi. If you live after the flesh, you transfer onu mwa. Fulfilling the last of the flesh. Did you know my condition? Committing fornication. Your boy, your man. Lying. Now say for you. Stealing. You can't throw. We are the vulgars. Now for you, swear you're full of pride. And do all the deeds of the flesh. Now you know when you are carrying it. You shall die. So be you. You shall die again. Be you. But if you through the spirit to mortify, see my friend who whom put to death. Now for you, cool the pedigree. Destroy. 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 And so Christ is telling us in the fact here that if you want to have life, his life, which is holy, you must forego all the lust of the flesh. Jesus can say, 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 but see, see, me, I'm not going to die. And he said, "Who now? What kind of thing are you putting in a?" We must put to death. I was saying, "Who now? What kind of thing are you putting in a?" When something is dead, it is dead. Say, baby, what? No. I haven't seen a dead person. Going back to his workplace. Me who obi a who a asan sorry a wakwe de jubena. And so when the deeds of the flesh are killed, and they say you come home now, you man wa. And the somehow we see them still active in our members. Now they say home, say home now, you man yet no ya bra bumu a. Then the bullet didn't go well. Then they say two na ya two ya no and two ye. We didn't try to put to death what should be dead. Because we can't have the life of Christ which is spiritual. And at the same time, the life of the flesh which is carnal. Christ won't accept it. And so at baptism, we symbolically die with Christ. And we die with Christ. And we rise together with him. Now you should say, "I'm sorry." In newness of life. Oh, Abraham, for free you cry, mo. Behavior wise. Oh, you should buy a head and a dimu. A behavior changes. The basa ni you should buy ni Abraham ni nasa. Some believe that Christ has come to your life means that Christ is within you, just like that. Even my friends, because you should buy a mo, you should buy a better mo. Sa akeke. Whatever you do with your body. Doesn't concern Christ. The only people you have be are Jesus over home. That is the biggest lie of the century. We are trucking here for you, Jumasabu. And of all time, I be my Christ. Christ come to effect total, complete change. Yes, so Bob must say, or maybe be a cause of Abraham moving in a asesa. He becomes your new life. Obey your Abraham for for. That's why I said Christ takes over your life. So I'm going to say, Bob, Jesus, you are from Abraham moving in a alumu. When you take control of something, so for be be a. You control everything. Yeah, 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 you up from the dead, by the glory of the Father. 
even so, we also should walk in newness of life. And so, the old life we lived as dead persons can be continued under the new life of Christ. Christ is our way of life. And we are to live in newness of life. Because we are risen with Christ and he has given us his life, not our life. His life. He must live the way Christ wants us to live. Because he gave us life, we are under obligation to live the kind of life he wants us to live. That's why the scripture that if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. Hallelujah. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. The old life of the flesh, of death, is gone and gone forever. Apostle Paul in Galatians 2 verse 26 I am crucified with Christ Nevertheless I live I haven't seen a dead person alive again So when he was crucified he died But instead of remaining dead He says I live But he says yes not I I live. But actually, I'm dead. The fact of the matter is that I'm dead. But I live. My heart beats. Hallelujah. Not I. That's by my own power. I'm a dead person from my mother's womb. But so, now that I live, it's from another life. Christ lives in me. And the life which I live in the flesh. Not in the spirit. Oh. The life that I live in the spirit. In the flesh. My behavior. My conduct. My way of life. Physically. I live by the faith of the Son of God. Hallelujah. Who loved me. And gave himself for me. And so you can't restrict the life of Christ. Only the spiritual realm. No. The life we live as the life of Christ. Not as the life of the flesh. We live on earth normally. Should be comparable to the life Christ would have lived if we are still on earth. Abra ba ere ti asi wa sasi sono. E wose ye sedi enka ye su ti asi hule mua. Oba bono bora no sa pepe pepe. I am a taxi driver. I have the life of Christ in me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. I have the life of Christ in me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. Christ has loaned His life to me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life to me. In fact, Christ has loaned His life you shouldn't even do it. You shouldn't even think about it. Hallelujah. Because the life is Christ. You are part of Christ. I can say that you are Christ. Christ is the life of the flesh. 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 And so Paul says that the life he lives in the flesh. He lives by the faith of the Son of God. It's important I couldn't print it. Because I wanted it in a booklet form. Later I realized that I could have just made it on a plain sheet for distribution. But I said to come out. I have done a companion study. Some of us 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 have done a companion study. And so last week we were studying with, with the church here. And we are trying to analyze Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. In the King James Version, it says, I live by the faith of the Son of God. King James Version, it says, I live by the faith of the Son of God. King James Version, it says, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Other versions say that, I live by faith in. Bible says, I live by faith of the Son of God. So there is a difference between of and in. This is trust in. And this is faith of. 
we so ojidi a free bibi so i sent to get the meaning correct ndi na pese me nyanti ase ni ye pa and i consulted my 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 greek documents na sabe na me ko fa atro ko ko no said ya true bi wo greek ka se mu no and it says that the meaning it has a double meaning how do we say mu say e wo ente ase e mienu that is why in the kgv the original the, the english version that, that's the, the, the best we have says faith of god rather than faith in and unto now kai king james now o ka say ye yakopo jidie ana say e yakopo jidie na nkasa ne mu nya say wo nya jidie wo yakopo hallelujah amen faith stand for faithfulness se ka say jidie e jina ho ma no kredie at the same time we also have to trust in christ record one so we say nya arosemu e wo christ mu so the kjv version combines two ideas in one hallelujah king james version na and so the apostle Paul is telling us that I live by faith in Christ. And at the same time, I live by the faithfulness of Christ. Hallelujah. When I trusted in Christ, he also helped me by his faithfulness. Hallelujah. Christ says that those who have come to him, nobody shall ever pluck them out of his hands. So the power of our banning child will be in me your moon in him. And so when you trust in Christ, it is here Jesus Christ to dear. He also helps us. On also boy. He also ensures that we have divine power. On also you know see some call suit to me. We have grace. In your in your dom to hold on to his holy life. See which me Quran abra bo kron ko. So the two ideas are represented in the KGV. And don't the addition and say me no nyina o King James Bible. I live by the faith of the son of God. My personal faith in him. And his faithfulness towards me. Hallelujah. But that faithfulness, he will ensure that I will never fall. That is why Jude chapter 1 verse 24 says, He who is able to keep us from falling. Keep us from falling. Falling from what? Falling from his holy life. Falling from his righteousness. Hallelujah. Is the Lord Jesus Christ. So once we believe in Christ, he also takes over our life and helps us. Ensuring that we don't fall from his holiness. No, I say yeah, he has in fear in Kokoro you know. And from his grace. If he not dumb no. Because he lives forever. If what he has said that to intercede for you and me. So be dia ma me no me. Hebrew chapter 7 verse 25. Hebrew for my thing so che mo do no no. So Christ is the reason why we live. And yes so until he has here. And so we are indebted to him. And don't say Abraham the nika. Romans chapter 8 verse 12. Roma for my thing so che mo do me. It says we are indebted not to the flesh. O se nya ho nam na mo nika. But to the spirit. And that spirit is the living Christ. And Christ so, we were bought at a price. Not on, so we are not on our own. We were bought at the price of the blood of Yeshua Hamashiach. And therefore we are told to honor God with our bodies. First Corinthians chapter 6 verse 20. In Acts chapter 20 verse 28. The Holy Ghost is identified as Christ. Who purchased the, the church with his own blood? That's why we don't accept the doctrine of the tree. The last Adam is the living spirit. Adam spirit is Christ. And so the term Holy Spirit is just the presence of Christ with us. It's not a different entity at all. There is no name given under the sun. Whereby we shall be saved. Except the name of Christ. And Christ is that spirit. And when the spirit of the living God. There is freedom. And so we have been bought. In the olden days when slaves were bought. Did you ever see a slave? Who had freedom to do what he wanted? Even today, as workers and employees, can we behave anyhow in you the workplace? You, you, you have been hired. You have been hired. 
and you are told to report at your workplace at yeah. 8 30. You stand before the personal manager. Ask the worker here. I'm stating my uncle. I'll report here at 9 30. Whether you like it or not, I'll report there. You'll be fired instantly. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, if you have been bought by Christ, and say, Yes, so at all. Christ had the power over us. Yes, go, yes, to me. But the beautiful thing about Christ is that yes, the man, yes, no, bro, boy, he buys us into freedom. Hallelujah. Okay, I know what my father would do. In the olden days, when the slave trade was, was at, at as it peak in the, in the United States of America. Can it be brought now and coasum and coato? I think in the America, we must be before we bring coin. No, a time came. A baby buy when the British realized that it wasn't good. And my English, I brought from some coato no cry any. And so the the Put a ban on the slave trade. And those who call themselves abolitionists. They call themselves abolitionists. abolitionists. And so they took the campaign to the U.S. And then to almost say, "Sir, the one who call themselves abolitionists." Some of these people were very rich. And so they took monies along with them. And they will go to the slave market. And they will go and then they will buy, they will negotiate. And they will buy these African slaves. No matter be before Kwano. And when these slaves are bought, they expect what? They expect uh, that what should happen to them is the usual thing that happens to all slaves. No they expect to be taken to a plantation. No matter who they are, they They expect to be taken to a plantation. Taken to other places where they will work. They will talk. But they will not be able to work. But they will talk. Now, if they are more casa, but these abolitionists, now you need to pay a person who gun ku asono. Who against the slave trade? No, a person ku asono be kusono. They will tell them, I have bought you. No, I can't say we be out on a kwanza. Men are better war. But I bought you into freedom. Hallelujah. So you can go free. This is that part. What happens with Christ? When we are in bondage, the devil, Christ came. Yes, so by He brought us. I don't but He set us free. Hallelujah. He shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, Christ gave us a law. And yes, so my emra. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Hallelujah! Amen. So Christ, God's law is a law of freedom. If you go to town and you see somebody being chased and being called a thief, it's, it doesn't mean that he has obeyed God's law. So who so be who crum? Now man for pamro crum for crum for. He is not free. He has obeyed another law. A law of bandage. A law of sin and death. And so he is in trouble. Hallelujah. And so in Christ it is freedom. But the certain is that when light came into the world, people love darkness rather than light. Now we also to say, we are And so Christ has bought us. And he says he owns us. No, I can't say say any dia. He owns our body. He be dia any dia. And so our body should be used to honor God. And he also said he need to be used in Muniam. The body that's used to honor God is the body that has been ridden of the lust of the flesh. Abraba, he says, I'm coming to Muniam. Abraba, ye you born in Muniam? No Muniam in our every move. When we die with Christ, see any Jesus who are crucify the body of sin. Now your body need to be born in Muniam. So that you no longer serve sin. So be ye afraid. I won't consume born in you. And sin is what? The transgression of God's law. You know that we should no longer continue to transgress God's law. Now that Christ owns our body. And so if we use our body to transgress God's law, it means we are using a possession of Christ to dishonor him. We are using what belongs to Christ against himself. Which means that we have mishandled Christ's property. That is why he can destroy us and jail us. 
So let's go to Romans chapter 6. Reading from verse 6. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him. And not your coroma from my teens, your future moons, your conwa. Or since I name the Sabre, what will you need Christ to do for the other than one sin you know? That the body of sin might be destroyed. Say, Baya, Bonini Pediano, Ebu, and our best seno. As well as that, you have been crucified with Christ. Sabre, yeah, what do you obey any Christ to ascend your mono? The body of sin. Your body should no longer be given to sin. If you say any Pediano, a demo bonibu. That henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead with Christ is freed from sin. Hallelujah. Now, if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Knowing that Christ being raised from the dead dies no more. Hallelujah. Therefore, have no dominion over him. If he say, Who would to me? And so Christ died because of our sin. So you're born into no and death has no dominion over him again. Now, and so Christ will never die again. Yes, so will and so once he died and rose up with us together. Now, we are he must never sin again. That will require Christ to die. So now that we are risen with Christ. We must maintain the holiness. We must maintain the righteous life of Christ. For he that died. For him that he died. He died Unto sin once. If say yes, who who you know, who ma we embody no prekope. But in that he lives, he lives unto God. If say who say who you are sorry you know so no, what you are saying me nyango pon. And so likewise, we we call yourself also to be dead indeed to sin. And yes, so so, you who ma we embody no prekope. But alive unto God through Jesus Christ. And so verse twelve says. But alive unto God through Jesus Christ. And so verse twelve says. But alive unto God through Jesus Christ. And so verse twelve says. But alive unto God through Jesus Christ. And so verse twelve says. But alive unto God in your mortal body. And you also say, "Abre, whom my body is not in the body, I be away from in the morning." Let nothing be a king in your body. And my body is not in the body, I be away from this mortal body. Do you understand the expression? Do you understand the expression? So I say, "Me, I can do what I say." You pa. Mortal body. We in the body, I be away. Body in which dwells death. In the body, I be away from the morning. Death is in the body. Who I be in the body? But don't allow sin. To dwell in the body. Because a time will come. If you don't allow sin to dwell in your body, you will not be able to dwell in the body. Because a time will come. If you don't allow sin to dwell in your body, you will not be able to dwell in the body. Because a time will come. If you don't allow sin to dwell in your body, you will not be able to dwell in the body. Because a time will come. If you don't allow sin to dwell in your body, you will not be able to dwell in the body. Because a time will come. If you don't allow sin to dwell in your body, you will not be able to dwell in the body. Because a time will come. If you don't allow sin to dwell in your body, you will not be able to dwell in the body. Because a time will come. If you don't allow sin to dwell in your body, you will not be able to dwell in the body. Only a transformation will have to take place. A small transformation. I was saying, "Sakrai bi ena ede di a ekito bi." Very small. Kito ebi. I and you. We know me no. To whom the word of God has come. I nyakupa sama ba yenche. We have life eternal. Yoda angwa. We are passed from death to life. Ye fru wumko ngwa. Whether you understand or not. What you are saying, what you are saying. Whether you know or not. Unimu unimu. As we explained earlier. So the biblical history. Even when we are coming to this world. Ebra oba we are saying. To be born into this biblical world. Ebra oba we are saying. You didn't see anything. No, we never realized it. One, two, three. You just came in. And so you believe by faith. Hallelujah. I said by faith. That you have eternal life. No, don't go. Whether you die physically and you are. So who are now making us feel bad? It doesn't change anything. And the fact remains that Christ has come into your life. No one says yes to a man. And he has given you eternal life. Hallelujah. Amen. But the only caution he has given us that we must not allow sin to live. In my mother, but the body is subject to death. No man can come out of the body and say, "I'm not crying. I'm not in the body. I'm in the body. I'm not in the body. I'm not in the body. Because we are showing something. You see, you do it, baby. Those who sow the flesh shall reap of the flesh. So who do you know who never will be true? Which is corruption. I don't know. Those who sow the flesh shall reap eternal life. Amen. Galatians chapter six verse eight. And so the question is there: Let us not die in your mother's body. Oh, my body, body, any money produced by woman in it. That you should obey it in the last thereof. Somebody in our corner, come on. Now that you are members, that's body parts. Now some of you are doing what you are doing as instruments of righteousness. Never my body, any money, money. On to sin. I don't make up on him. Never use your hands. If I want that, no any part of your body. Allow only be the baby. No your legs. Allow on that. No your mind. Allow what you. No your brain. Allow what you. For 
sinful activities. Because the whole body belongs to God. It belongs to Christ. Hallelujah. As those that are alive from the dead, from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. And so if you didn't understand, this is not yes, yeah. now you have been told Said can't so. your hands is not yours. Your legs are not yours. Your body is not yours. Your stomach is not yours. Your head is not yours. Your brain is not yours. Your eyes are not yours. And so Christ tells us, if you look upon a woman and you laugh at her, you have committed adultery with what? Her already? Jesus in, in the spirit. So whose eyes are you using to look after the woman? Are you using the holy eyes of Christ? For that grievous thing. Christ will judge you on that account. Yes, we'll now, are you going to use Christ's hands to steal? Are you going to use the hands, the legs, and the, all the body parts of Christ for evil deeds? Unless you accept that they don't belong to Christ, then you can use this them. But the scripture says that without Christ, we, we had no life. That's why I was a Christ and because Christ owns us, we have nothing to say about what he tells us about our bodies. It must be used for his service alone and alone. Hallelujah. So it because of our fornication, lies, and the authority that Christ died with us. Burying these sins in the grave. Ah, you see, sir, your body in So that we might write to a new life in Him without sin. Sebeya, you better sorry about brother, but full of no dear, Bonnie Bia and Timu. In this physical world, when somebody dies and is taken to the grave and buried, do we go back and assume the body and bring it to the house again? As I see, we say, so be who? Now you could see anyone. What you want to say? Pensa fe ya sa ko tu ni nanke se asa di abe fi biu. Our Muslim brothers will say haram. And kremu for the Americans say haram. She say musio kra. Abomination. Aye musio. It can happen. Enti miwa. The dead can live with the living. The one who wants me to ask for interview. And so Christ has buried fornication. The Christ who was here has buried lies. Was here the mama atro. Has buried all the transgressions of God's law. Was here ya kupomra. In the grave. Ewa mrem. But some people. Call themselves Christians. Let's be on from say Christopher. Want to go to the graveyard? Want to go to the cemetery? To assume this dead things. Come to the house. Hallelujah. That will never happen. And so because we are raising Christ, the general see any Christ who are running and fast, you must use our body parts. Which we don't own. Never think that you own any part of yourself. And so you must fear sin. Because it's not a sin that we fear. It's not a sin that we fear. What would you think of us? Would you be happy if he misuse what is his? And so our life belongs to Christ and to him only. So Christ as our Savior and Master. Who purchased us with his own blood. Determines the kind of life we should live. Because we are not on our own. We had a former master called Satan. Under him we serve sin. That's why I said when the word of God comes to you, you are born again. It becomes a spiritual of God. And so by the gospel, we are turned from darkness to light. From the power of Satan to the power of God. That we should be counted among those sanctified by Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 1 verse 13. Revelation chapter 1 verse 13. Close from a tiba which you move to be as a you have been translated from the power of darkness. Where you have resumed to be as a to the kingdom of his dear son, and they are by you, and we have been made the servants of righteousness. It is an undeniable fact that it is the master 
who determined the station and role of his slave or servant. That's the standard everywhere. And so Christ has determined that we should be servants of righteousness. And it is not in our power to question his judgment. To question his decision concerning us. So in very plain language, Christ is telling us that as his servants, our scope of work does not include sin. And the Christ so and so once we sin, as soon as we sin, we take care that we are no longer your servants. We won't obey you. And so, so, so many Christians consider themselves servants of Christ. In them only. In them only. Their actions don't show. That they are truly servants of Christ. And so we read from Romans chapter 6, verse 16. Now you know not that to whom you yield yourself servant to obey. His servants are ye to whom ye obey. And so the Bible says that we are servants to obey. Whether of sin unto death, of obedience unto righteousness. And so if we we hadn't realized. And the moment we accepted Christ Jesus as our Savior. And our Lord. We yielded ourselves to Him. We acknowledge Him as our Master. And so He has every right to tell us what to do. But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin. But ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine. Which was delivered to you. Hallelujah. And so it is the doctrine which we accept, which makes us become servants of righteousness. Which breaks the connection with the former slave master, Satan. It's the doctrine. And so and so those who obey the doctrine of Christ of Satan also accept Satan as their master. But the moment we accept the truth of Christ and we commit ourselves to his way he becomes our master. Hallelujah. Amen. And so verse 18 says being then made free from sin and so being then made free from sin you become the servants of righteousness. And when we come under Christ, we gain freedom from sin. We no longer serve sin. So when you try to make the two, you are creating confusion. You are trying to serve two masters. And that is impossible. So what did, does Christ say? He said to the church in Laodicea, that you better be cold. Or you'll be hot. And I'm on your I won't accept your lukewarmness. If you are not cold or hot, I will spill you out. Hallelujah. And so with Christ, it will be total obedience. So he has made us servants of righteousness. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as you have yielded your members, servants to uncleanness and to iniquity, even so now you yield your members, body parts, as servant righteousness unto holiness. Hallelujah. And so Christ says, as a servant, we must serve righteousness. And by serving righteousness, we live a holy life. For when we were the servants of sin, we were free from righteousness. Hallelujah. We were not under any obligation. Nobody could question us why we are not keeping righteousness. But now we are obliged. We are under obligation. Before Christ. That you follow him. You will be his servant. And he says if you are my servant. 
than self righteousness. Unlike previously, when we are free from righteousness, now we are not free from righteousness. What we are free from is sin. And so, what fruit had he then in those things which he did formerly and are now ashamed? So, because the end of those things is death. But now be made free from sin. And became servants to God. Ye you have your fruit unto holiness. The outcome of your new life in Christ is holiness and the end everlasting. 23. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift, the gift, the gift of God is Christ. Our Lord. Some people preach based on this scripture alone. And they say that you, you, you say you should keep God's law. You don't have to give any law of God in order to end salvation. Nobody is trying to end salvation here. Because the eternal life is a gift. But it is our word. Hallelujah. You must produce fruit unto righteousness. Unto holiness. And when you do that, God will reward you by giving you what you cannot attain by your own power. Hallelujah. He will reward you with the gift of eternal life. And so once eternal life is a gift from God, the life of Christ in which dwells the eternal life is a holy life. Yes, Christo, na braba, and also down quatimono, and also your conqueror brabo. It's a righteous life. I tell you, brabo. You cannot handle the life anyhow you want. Once you turn from brabo, you say the open be a. So if you take hold of that Christ life of holiness, and say Christo, brabo, you conquer so many years, and you preserve it in the holiness. That's all you so much in him. God will reward you, hallelujah. You are coming over to your house, by giving you the gift, the gift of eternal life. I was down quatimono, and I was told Yes, Christo. Hallelujah. Amen. And so the body part of flesh is the body fit for the master's use. This is the verse cleans and set apart for the use of the master of the house. Hallelujah. Timothy chapter 2 verse 20. If you want to be used by the Lord, we must purge ourselves. I want to say a tear home. And be sanctified. So that he will fit, he will fit for the master's use. But in the great house, there are not only verses of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth. And some to honor. And some to dishonor. And so, as human beings. God can use all of us. But he says, some will be honored, some will be dishonored. As Pentecostal believers, we are available to be used by God. But he sets a condition. If you are going to be used by the master of the house, you must purge yourself from these things. He shall be a vessel unto honor. And sanctified and meet for the master's use and prepared unto every amen. And so when we sanctify ourselves by riding ourselves, ridding ourselves of all uncleanness and holiness, then the Christ life is attained. You have just learned that Christ is our master. And we know the typical master servant relationship. The servant is always low. The servant is at the lowest position ever, ever. But in Christ, things are different. 
How do you, do, do you go to a house and you see the servant sitting at the table with the master? And this all local fear of fear of fear, none a dining table, none a quarrel so to a jia de moa on any lady day. Dressing the way the master dresses. Nasa the new rather see him also about tie a pampe, no one so sees him what to be. Having the same comforts the master has. None a new rather jia de new fear on a quarrel so no everybody be. But with Christ, it is different. Hallelujah. Why is he want this? He wants us to live the kind of life he lives. Or per se, it's not say, oh, Abraba, no, yes, so, or no, so, edit here, sin be. He wants us to conform to his very nature. Or per se, yes, sin is subbing and says, or the pepe. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 29, he says, Matthew and Patrick do by a coach, you know, take my yoke, or say, Mofa Mikonia, Christ, my yoke, take my yoke, yes, or say, Mikonia, upon you and learn from me. Mofa, to my son, I'm going to me, for I am gentle. If you say, my joke. And humble in heart. And you will find rest for your souls. And so he wants us to conform to his nature. And so Romans chapter 8 verse 29 says. For whom he did for noon. For no. He also did predestinate. To be conformed to the image of his son. To be conformed to the image of his son. So that he might be the firstborn among Many brethren, hallelujah. Brethren of the same father, of ah, the same said, mother. Having the same standing, living the same life. That's why he promises in Luke chapter 3, verse 21. He who overcomes, I will grant him to sit with, with me. On my heavenly throne. Even as I came. And I was granted to sit on the right hand of the throne. Now the servant is seated on the throne of heaven. So are you really a servant? Are you really a slave? Amen. Christ is showing us how to live the life of obedience. So that you be exalted in the glory of the Father. And so the, class of, the life of Christ is on a different life. The very same life lived by Christ today. The life of holiness he is living right now. The life of righteousness is living right now. And so Christ is our new nature. Our new self. Which is created in righteousness and true holiness. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22. Ephesians 4, verse 19. What would be the command of the Son? Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4. Petro, my dear, he has called us in order that we might have the divine nature. Our friend, Sebeya, Ebeja, Osro, Isu, Nubi. And the transformation is so complete that our very minds. Must also be conformed to that of Christ. Now, Sans Sacrano, a real Moody said, What's a Yadrin in Arno, a secret so I do never pay. Because when Satan corrupted man, if the brow was some or say Nipano, he corrupted his understanding, or say Nipayadrin and his mind, or say Yadrin, so that by the time of Noah, if the bread do know a brass or no, the Lord was grief in the spirit. Nenipa, no more Tinipano, your honor ray. Because the thoughts of the interest of the house of man was. Evil continually. And so God said that you're going to destroy the whole world population. So God said that you're going to destroy the whole world population. Including animals. But then Noah found grace in the sight of God. For Noah worked with God. And because Noah worked with God. He was giving grace to escape the flood. Hallelujah. So grace is help from above. To do what nobody else can ever do. So when the whole world was given to Abel. No one was the only person who found grace. No one Not to transgress God's law. Yes, what you know, Pomo. Grace to keep God's law. When you are doom so what you are Pomo so. Are doom so in Yemen and so he was favored. Hallelujah. Don't you know, Pomo no more. And so when Christ comes to your life, our very minds are changed. Because so by a brother Pomo, they are doing in our sister. Those who are not born again by the Spirit of the Living God, when they wake up in the morning, all their thoughts are thoughts of evil. 
enipa o yakopon adom no enwo mo foforo no o de nyane a the team of you nyina yebone nko a i'm going to the office today me ko office ko dwumo mune i have been told that money will come to the office from from the, from the central treasury from the government me nyane ntie se sika bi fra ba mu ba no penya se ngwe to akra i have to pay the workers as if you my phone but i can't give all the money to them i don't even know how much so you sit up 3:30 am in the morning the obaso no no pa no be in san fa na fi wo dwene kwae a i use my pen of course be for the trade you cry balance to the left and to the right this can be fun i can do this no me twa we no i we say i'll open a new account no be i'll do this no my way no my way so from morning to the evening in the front of bagoman you mean no oh his thoughts are thoughts of everybody